Welcome to Dak Man Productions and welcome to Kind of Hay Rail. Fresh home from work. And um, so we're going to do a Atlas O unboxing today. And check out my shirt, Atlas O. No, this is not available in my Teespring store. I actually bought this shirt. So, as I mentioned before, my channel is not sponsored. I'm not commercialized. And I don't accept gifts from manufacturers or hobby shops as a way to get a good review. So, everything you see here is bought by me, including this shirt. I'm just a big fan of Atlas O. Um, so, let's get to it. Let's unbox these uh, Atlas O train cars. And this, both of these boxes, it's a double unboxing. Uh, come from uh, public delivery tracks. So uh, the viewers may know noticed that Dakman has been on an Atlas O buying spree. Um, that's because I sold off uh, quite a bit of my line L, and um, I don't know. I just got tired of dealing with line L's trucks and coupler issue situation and so if episode made it if I find that episode made it I'll buy the episode version and sell the line out one but um yeah I, I really like the episode product now with that being said there was a positive and negative to everything so episode is a great well detailed product um, and the Atlas O Master Series and Trainman Series both of them are um, scale size the downfall to Atlas O the biggest thing that I can think of is that those fine details are fragile so you got to watch how you handle your Atlas O rolling stock. I recommend putting it on a track and leaving it. If you want something that you want kids to handle, or something that you're going to take on and off the track a lot, don't buy an Atlas O. Buy MTH Premier, because they don't have as much detail that'll break. Or why not? Um, Atlas O is a well detailed model like I said but you do have to watch oh I hate peanuts this is going to make a mess I know you guys want to see me make a mess <laughs> and um so with that being said um this is my Atlas unboxing so um I'm pretty excited and um yeah so what I did is uh I really wanted these and I found them so we have uh, two Atlas O 53 foot Evans box cars, and the one we'll take a look because it's going to be dark in the box, and the Weyerhaeuser road name. And for those who don't know, Weyerhaeuser is one of the biggest names in lumber. Uh, they're an actual big lumber company, so you can go into Lowe's and Home Depot. And you'll see the name Weyerhaeuser throughout there. Um, and they would sometimes deliver wood in boxcars rather than center beam cars to keep them from being in the weather. So we'll take a look at these um, here in a minute. We'll put them off to the side. And uh, we'll open up our next episode box. And... Um, so yeah, I, I, I really love the Atlas O, and uh, so I've just been buying quite a bit of it for my grain facility and stuff like that. Now they don't make everything, so the things that I, I don't, I'll buy something in another main brand if one manufacturer don't make it. I'll buy an MTH, I'll even uh, buy from Lionel. Which I have, if the, if it's not made by Atlaso, and um, so 
So I won't stick to just one main brand because you can't get everything from one manufacturer. But I do know people who are just Lionel, people who are just MTH, and they won't buy nothing else. Why not? Look, it's all good quality in the end. I think so, for the most part. Alright, so what we got is the Chicago and Northwestern uh, grain car, grain hopper, and the PS4750. I wanted both road numbers, but unfortunately, by the time I got around to buying these, there was only one left. I hope they make these in green, too. But you still see these around today on railroads. Uh, grain facilities still have fallen flag grain hopper cars because either leasing companies or the grain facilities went out and bought these fallen flag hopper cars. Of course, they don't have the same reporting marks, but most of the time they leave the original railroad graphics. They'll paint over the reporting marks and put their own on there. So we have the uh, Chicago Northwestern. We'll look at that. And after my pink hopper car series, um, there was one more that I wanted. <laughs> and so I went ahead and bought the um, West Bend Elevator Company. And because uh, I have seen a couple elevator companies around here as well. So I wanted to add this. So that brings my total of pink hopper cars to three. There's uh, six different road names in the pink hopper cars that were made. You can buy the six car set from Public Delivery Track. Uh, I'll put a uh, link to Public Delivery Track in the description. That's if they haven't sold out by now because these are limited edition. Special custom run to Public Delivery Track only. And who knows? Uh, they might already be out, but yeah, I'll put a link in there so everybody can uh, have a shot at buying something cool like that. All right, so let's put these uh, on the track, and we'll take a look at them, quick look, and we'll go from there. So it's an Atlas O day. Let's go. Alright, so here is the uh, Atlas O 53 foot Evans uh, double door box car in the Weyerhaeuser road name. Uh, Weyerhaeuser really does ship uh, plywood and box cars just like these. And um, you can see photos online. The name Weyerhaeuser is uh, very well known. You can see uh, plywood and different, all different types of lumber with the Weyerhaeuser uh, name stamped on it. So this is a cool piece. It is prototypical uh, as far as uh, being a real uh, railroad box car. Proper graphics, um, correct road name graphics. So this is a pretty much a correct car. And um, so I'm pretty happy with it, happy to have it. Uh, on another note, the doors do not open on these uh, 53 foot double door box cars and that is because if they were to make the doors open it would be so out of scale and un unprototypical uh, to make the doors for the look of the doors to make them open so uh, to keep the prototypical looks and scale they uh, make these so that the doors are simulated. And um, I, I can live with that. It's it's okay. I don't, everything doesn't need to have opening doors. Um, so it's kind of cool to have the, the scale part of it rather than, um, you know, an unprototypical look on a scale car. Because this car is true 148 scale. So you want to, you know, appeal to those who want proper and prototypical. Because uh, that's... What, who mainly would buy um, a box car like this. And as with any Atlas O, because this is my first 53 foot Evans box car uh, review, um, it still has wonderful uh, small graphics on there that you would expect from Atlas. I mean, look at the, the small detailed lettering 
and look at the uh, I mean look at look how small the lettering is but yet it's so clear I'm not sure it's that coming through but you can see how small the detail it is but yet so nice and clear we'll, we'll move this uh, up so you can see the other side uh, detailed undercarriage as you would expect from Atlas uh, scanning across there all the air piping air lines air tanks and uh, die cast trucks die, uh, metal wheels rotating wheel bearing caps as you would expect to have on an Atlas so let's see it And uh, of course the airline on the coupler. And look at the end car detail. So another wonderful piece by Atlas. Another great addition to Conahay Rail is this Atlas uh, 4750 Chicago and Northwestern uh, Pullman Standard Hopper Car. Um, you still see. Uh, hopper cars floating around in fallen flag roadings such as Chicago and Northwestern. I've seen both the yellow and green versions still rolling around even to this day. Uh, most of them are either owned by a uh, leasing company or by a grain facility. And, um, you know, every once in a while you'll see them either with the original road name graphics on them or they've been removed but you can still see the silhouette of it. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're still rolling up and down the rails to this day. So this would be good for something from, you know, the 80s uh, to modern day uh, for any uh, O-gauge layout. So this is going to go right to work on the uh, Conahay Rail Grain Facility. Now, I've already reviewed the PS4750 uh, Grain Hopper. But uh, we'll take a, a quick look at some graphics on this as well. And you'll see the uh, the small, I mean, I just can't believe they can print this small. But it is so cool that they can. So you get all the small little tiny graphics that should be on these things. I mean, look at that. And this is why I like these so much. I mean, everything that's supposed to be on this car is on there even the small lettering and uh, but once again you get, the downside is you got the fine details which is what I like but you gotta be careful with it you know you got the grab individual grab handle grab rails you got the individual brake wheel the brake chain the, the air chamber is in there piping so there's a lot of detail in these cars Okay, last but not least, we had the Atlas O special custom run Pink Hopper and the West Bend Elevator Company, uh, West Bend, Iowa. Um, after I got my first two Pink Hopper cars and did that review, uh, I wanted this one too. <laughs> I just, for some reason, I wanted this one as well. Probably because I have seen those floating around here somewhere in real life. But uh, at any rate, yeah, it's a great. Another great addition to um, Conahay Rail Grain Facility. And if you like grain trains, you cannot have a complete grain train without a pink hopper car. You see pink hopper cars here and there on the grain train. And they're still in existence to this day. So, yeah, every grain train needs a pink hopper car. <laughs> so hurry up and get over there to public track delivery because they're the only ones that have them. And once they're gone, they're gone because they are limited. How many they made? I don't know exactly. Maybe they could tell you, but they are limited custom runs. So um, this will also go to work right on Conahay Rail. I'd like to thank everybody for watching another Dak Man Productions video. And uh, stay tuned for another.